So today we are here asking for what's right. It's for the Board of Supervisors to give us a special election in the next couple of months and not have us wait until November. Now at six, leaders behind the effort to recall Alameda County District Attorney Pamela Price have the signatures to push it through. Good evening, everybody. I'm Vicki Liviakis. I'm Ken Wayne. The group showed up at the Board of Supervisors meeting today with those signatures in hand, verified by the Alameda County Registrar of Voters. Yeah, the leaders of Coalition Save Alameda for Everyone or SAFE garnered more than enough signatures needed for a special election to recall DA Price. Yesterday, the Registrar of Voters validated nearly 75,000 signatures out of the more than 123,000 signatures originally submitted. A SAFE says that it's a coalition of concerned residents, business owners, victims, and victims' families that have come together in the face of rising crime and a, quote, failure by the DA to hold perpetrators accountable, end of quote. Well, now that group has the signatures and it's up to the board to set a date. While opponents of DA Price say they're excited, the Registrar of Voters has declared enough legal signatures were gathered to force a recall. A recall election may actually never even happen. Yeah, that's because Price's attorney says that the recall was illegal. Crown Force Dan Kerman live uh, with us in the studio with details on that. Dan? Well, you know, in the last few hours, we can tell you that uh, we have heard from the attorney for Pamela Price, and they have indicated to us that the rules were not followed by Alameda County, and as a result, the recall is illegal and should not go forward. On Monday, the Alameda County Registrar of Voters announced the campaign to recall Alameda County District Attorney Pamela Price had gathered 74,757 valid signatures, about 1,500 more than needed, meaning a recall election would move forward. But now that may not happen. We believe that the recall is illegal. Jim Sutton is the attorney for the Pamela Price campaign. He says the recall was illegal because the county did not follow the law as stated in the county's charter. The charter says, as clear as clear can be, that the registrar has to verify the signatures within 10 days and that the Board of Supervisors has to give the registrar enough money to hire the staff to complete the verification within 10 days. They, they didn't complete the verification for about five or six weeks, well beyond the deadline, so therefore the recall cannot move forward. Second of all, the county charter also says very clearly that the only people that can gather signatures on a recall petition are residents of the county. And for good reason, you don't want out of county special interests overturning a legitimate county election. Yet we know that, that dozens or not more of the people circulating the petition were not county residents. The Registrar of Voters is expected to certify the vote at the Board of Supervisors meeting April 30th. It's at that time the board can also set a date for the recall election itself. The district attorney plans to, before that time, ask the Board of Supervisors to not schedule election because it's illegal. If the board moves forward anyway, it's likely District Attorney Pamela Price will sue the county. It's a writ of mandate against the county asking the court to tell the county that it cannot move forward with this election because it violates the county charter. Now, in the last few hours, we reached out to the county council's office for comment. We have not heard back from them. Ken, Vicki.